Hi, it's June 11th, 2020. My name is Noah Seely, and welcome to my channel. Today we're back to lead code. It's going to be a bit of a short video again, as I only have one question for today, but I think it's an interesting one that is also of hard difficulty. I think these lead code questions are great examples of how to practice problem solving, which is super important in the realm of computer science. The whole field is basically problem solving with coding as kind of the language to write it all down with. So I really think it's important to practice problem solving with questions like these, as well as looking at other people's work for ideas and tips of how to start creating more optimum solutions. For today's question especially, I had a little algorithm that was mainly working, but after scanning through some other solutions, I found an algorithm that worked much better than mine. I started to implement a new solution based off the ideas from that algorithm that worked a lot better. The solution came from a lead code user named Zitao Wang, which you can see here, and I'll also have his solution linked in the description below for you guys to check out, as well as the question itself. The solution I was talking about offered a few tricks in Python that I didn't really know existed, so I'm excited to show off what I've learned. And speaking of the question, let's dive right into it and check out what we're going to be solving for today. So here, the question itself is called couples holding hands. Basically, we can imagine a row, maybe a row in the movie theaters, and within that row, there are n people sitting and every person belongs to a couple and wants to hold hands with their respective significant other. But the issue is everyone is all shuffled up before they're seated in the row. So our job essentially boils down to making sure every couple is seated together so they can hold hands. As we can see, there are a few examples given here, basically showing that ordering doesn't really matter as long as the couples are together and that we need to return an integer representing the minimum amount of swaps needed to unite every couple. So yeah, here I am at leak code. And basically the thinking that I had for this problem is that we would need an algorithm them that would iterate through the list of couples and when we got a mismatched couple we would swap one of those people out with the correct person to unite the couple until all couples are holding hands or united. This algorithm will be a greedy algorithm as each decision it makes or steps it takes will yield the optimal reward within the current state that it is in without any regard to the future or what will be the optimal reward in the future. It will also run in big O of n time complexity as we're iterating through the whole list of couples. So as I mentioned before, I was looking around for ways to actually implement this algorithm into code, and I was able to find a solution entry by the leak code user Zitao Wang that basically functioned with the same idea, just they were able to implement it with the knowledge of how to use a dictionary in Python. Now I've never used a dictionary in Python, but I was aware of their function. Basically a dictionary is a data structure that will map some sort of ID with some sort of value. So perhaps you would have a grocery store list dictionary where the IDs are one, two, three, and the values are milk, butter, and sugar. And basically we can access an entry super easily and without the constraints of a list by simply referring to a value's respective ID. In Python here, we're going to use the enumerate function, which you can see here in the documents provided. This data structure is good for this question as we can now have a way to refer to which person is at which seat and swap them around in the list as we move through the algorithm. Another thing Zatao suggested is to basically process the list two items at a time. That way we can couple each sheet together. In the code, we can validate the two people are a couple with this check couples function that I made. And if they're not, we find the correct coupling in the dictionary and do a swap, which was also part of Zatao's ingenuity. We process the whole list like that and keep track of how many swaps we've made. When we're done iterating through that list, we return the number of swaps required to unite all of the couples. So yeah, that's one of the many solutions to the couples holding hands problem on lead code. And that wraps up my video for today. I've definitely used a lot of resources on lead code to solve this problem and write code for it. So as always, I've linked all resources that I've used in the description below for you guys to go check out yourselves. If you feel that I've missed anything or got anything wrong, please let me know in the comment section below. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.